Welcome to the live stream. My name is Christian O. People call me Unc because I've been an uncle since age 15. Today we're going to talk about opening up this YSL baby cat, the real one, and take a against a clone. And the first fragrance today we're going to talk about is called Oro's Pure Effacet. This fragrance is delicious. It has notes of orange, mandarin, spicy notes, and patchouli. And my favorite, caramel, if you can hear me well. Say hello down in the comments, and I'm going to spray it real quick for you. It's got a nice sprayer. It just smells good. I love the combination of patchouli and caramel. Oros makes different lines. The, my favorite one's called Leather Gold. Leather Gold is just like Ombre Nomad, in case you didn't know. Let's see if anyone has arrived to the live stream yet, and we're seeing, oh, we have our normal gem dealer. Well, hello everybody. Thank you for joining us today on the live stream. I'm going to continue with the presentation. We have a few fragrances to go over. The next fragrance we're going to try is opening up this Yves Saint Laurent baby cat right in front of you. It's the one a friend of mine got me from overseas. He was in Madrid and it came in and I can already tell you I couldn't resist. I smelled it and it it is delicious so much so that it reminds me of the high quality of Maison Francis Grand Soir but it's anyone can wear this again with the caramel note and it's got a magnetic cap now a little bit of spicy incense smokiness to it a little chocolatey vanilla notes to it it's like all together I believe this to be a masterpiece in my opinion worth every penny and then you have this Paris Corner one that I bought first. So now we'll see if this smells like that in real life IRL, right? So this is called or something Rifaquat instead of Baby Cat. Anyone remember Baby Fat? Baby Fat products from the old days? Anyone remember that? Oh, I see. Well... It's completely different, but all in all, it's not a bad dupe. It's just completely synthetically chemical smelling compared to that. I mean, it's, if you have a not a if you're a novice, it wouldn't make any difference. This is perfectly fine for twenty or forty dollars, whatever they sell it for. But this is a masterpiece filled with beautiful naturals, and there's nothing that can. I know how this evolves, and I know how this one evolves, and. YSL Baby Cat is the SH. Fill in the blanks. Next fragrance we have, we have something called Carner Barcelona. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle open box, right? So I was looking around on the fragrance websites. Let's see if I can pull them up for you. Nope, that's not the fragrance website. <laughs> The fragrance website is right here. Anyway, it was like $70 for $1.7. Oh, that's the YouTube studio. And this is a not bad fragrance. It came out in 2013. Carner Barcelona 3.4. Let's take a look and see if we can find it on the internet real quick. Oh, there it is. It's 3.4. Black pepper, saffron, cardamom, mint, cinnamon, Indonesian, nutmeg, coriander. This is a niche fragrance with Virginia, cedarwood, sandalwood, and benzoin resins. The scent garners admiration from many of its spicy elements, including the cinnamon and black pepper. And it's got a warmth of chai tea. Numerous people on Fragrantica said it had a slight gourmand quality. And I said it's kind of fresh and completely looks like this Carner Barcelona for 3.4 for 75 is worth it but not 1.7 it's not a bad fragrance though they, they came out this company makes a lot of niche style fragrances and one last time and here it says we want to evoke the sensuality and mystery of inaccessible love with Rima 6 so this is called Carner Barcelona Rima 6 Nice, soft, exactly like that kind of green fragrance. Not bad. Not bad at all. The longevity is very good. And if, um, I would take advantage of that if you can find it. 
put that one away. Uh, comment down below your scent of the day. I'll get to all your comments soon here. I got Mustard Squirrel. I've got Native 78 from Oklahoma. We got Hez. What's up, Hez? And Gem Dealer, what's your signature fragrance? Well, today, Gem Dealer, I'm wearing this. I, I know this came out in 1993, right? I just bought it. I've never had it in my life, actually. This is called Egoista Chanel Platinum by Jacques Poulge. The top notes are lavender, rosemary, neroli, and you can smell that green sort of cypress somewhere in there, but I don't think they list it. It's got petit grain and neroli, which are, are bitter orange notes, but they come out green. It's got some geranium, kind of rosy notes to clary sage to calm down, and some jasmine. And vetiver, I'm not a vetiver fan, but the, uh, the ingredients are high quality. So this is called Platinum Equista, right? It's 100 degrees outside. I wore this and it does just fine, you know. It has a nice sprayer. It's just so high quality. I love the green, orange, neroli spices with the clary sage. And the, at first, it's very masculine. I mean... It's a macho fragrance, but it's well done. And now somebody told me to get Boa Cute to see. To They said this is a hybrid of this. So let's see if this classy, fresh fragrance from our map is similar to that or something else. We're looking for bergamot or a, that note in that, that Chanel has a very nice cedrot bergamot cedrot they call it this is bo a cute oh, nice it has the same greenness in it it's like a twist of that it doesn't have that spicy kick i don't think it could compete with that but definitely goes in the direction this is like 20 dollars, i think it's not bad at all our math makes this it's called bo a cute strange looking box the bottle looks like this and it's not bad for $20. Not bad at all. It's nice aroma for everyday use. Let's see. We have a talking dust today. Anybody talking today? We got Gerald Dudley. Scent of the day is Kajal. I wonder how that is. I've never tried that. John Carlo Burton. Hello. You got your Afnon on? That's good, John Carlo. And we have Heast. Do men actually get compliments when wearing red tobacco? Somebody can answer that for them. Um, sometimes I do. I, stay, I got complimented. They said, you smell very nice, but I was in the Midwest that day on a cold winter day. Hello, Xander. How are you? Let's get a blockade clone. I don't know what that is. Hey, Jimmy and Randy, what's up? How you doing? Uh, you're wearing angel share yes that's awesome i wear it in the summertime too i wore it in las vegas and got mega compliments real deal angel share here is jimmy and randy and family and gifted giver that's a great cool name sent of the day is game of spades king which is a clone by joe milano of some bond number nine. I think it's Greenwich Village, if I'm not mistaken. Eric, how you doing, sir? How a long time. John Kem, good morning. Just woke up. Hop on the live. Thank you so much. William, I like it. I like your scent of the day, Blue Chanel Parfum. Call me G. Hayati is his scent of the day. Latafa Hayati. Campus Rock. Blessings from Colombia. Yeah. Hola. And Sani Andu Adamu. Hi, Unc. Love from the Philippines. Let's go on with some more fragrances. I found this other one. I didn't know it's old or new, but it's called Amber Oud Intense Black. And it's told me, someone told me it smelled like Louis Vuitton. Amber Oud Intense Black. It smells like Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad, but I'm going to spoof that right now because i have the ombre nomad and i just want to see some people or companies just you know they go oh it's 
just like Ombre Nomad or it goes in that direction. But does that give them a right to call it a clone or they should just say it's a similar scent, cheaper? That's what I say. When something's like a not exactly a clone, I always say similar scent, cheaper. Check it out. The sprayer works nice. Oh, this is lovely, but yeah, I could see them saying it's Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad, but it has more of a, a raspberry oud and saffron notes. Ombre oud, intense black, pure parfum. It's really unbelievable because it's so nice and soft and natural smelling right off the get. It reminds me of like the one mysterious night. I got some notes on here I'm reading, so just in case. Yeah, it's nice and pleasant, not oody. Not, I'm going to show you something that's really oody, though. So this is called Armaf Ombre Oud Intense Black, and I like this. Now, this is another one I found here. It's called Just Jack. Mystery. Now, on the flip side of that, of oud, this is the... This oud is so weird. It's called Mystery. Have anyone ever tried this? Just Jack. Another like $30 fragrance, beautiful presentation, beast mode too. But it's extremely masculine. So I tried it and I go, oh God, it's fecal oud at first. But after about 20 minutes, it starts projecting and it turns into this beautiful chocolatey, caramelly, incensey oud. And it's quite amazing. But you must appreciate oud to like it. And it does last a very, very long time and projects very, very well. If you like a nice, strong, deep, dank oud in the first 20 minutes that slowly evolves into a nice, pleasant, chocolatey, vanilla, normal oud hours later, you'll love it. Actually, like 30 minutes later, it starts projecting a little incense and stuff. It probably has some rose in it to calm it down. And that's called Just Jack Mystery. And it's an oud fragrance. It's very strong and long-lasting. As we move on... I found this Michael Malal fragrance. It was called Heartland. There's no information on it. I got it around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. And so does anyone know what this is supposed to smell like? There's a code for Malal 70. So the deal is like we're, we get in trouble. I've been getting in trouble for selling stuff too cheap by the brand owners. So I go on live and I... I know I shouldn't whisper, but <laughs> what's the difference if they're watching? You get 70% off all Michael Malal. If you want to use the code Malal70, that's all I can say. This is a pleasant citrusy wood everyday fragrance for the office with some depth and orange character in it. Not bad. Cool sprayer. It's called Heartland. I dig it. Oh, Michael Malal also makes this. If you don't already know, it's Jet Black Enigma. It's from Gent Sense, but this is the old bottle. So it's 140 but you get 70% off. I think it comes down to like $30 or something. 10 to 12 hours, app, cinnamon, ginger, black pepper, fused with saffron, vetiver, and resins and vanilla. And Gent Sense made a fabulous fragrance here. Bow down to him. And the new bottle looks a lot cooler. Now, also, my friend has an eBay store, and I wanted she wanted me to shout her out, so I control I can control it um, if I have it here loaded. Let's see what she's got going on here. She has her own things, and I I can cut I talk to the customers and tell her tell them about the fragrances. So this is the eBay store. First item she has is that ombre oud intense black. She's got something called Art de Parfum. I think that's like a nice, fresh, citrusy. Uh, Armaf Fresh Intense. Uh, Noah Armaf Tyrant. That's a real good one from USA Shipper. Oh, there's a good one. Impact Intense. That's the uh, clone. Kind of similar scent, cheaper to Layton. And by the way, you know, if you want to support her, that's fine. Or you can come to me. I'm a lot, probably a lot cheaper. She's got that old 9 p.m. nuclear one. Okay. Like that Flavia on our website. Well, never mind. I don't want to tell her bad things. But she's got a lot of Armaf, Rosenood. Oh, she's got some P. 
peaches cherry lust that's a good one that's a that's a tom ford clone can everyone see that i think you can oh and then they got the peaches one yeah there's a new just jack i'm about to show you and then the spirit millionaire see how it says 68 dollars i'm gonna change it right now to 29.95 it's 70 dollars wherever you look the brand owners get furious but i can't i'm gonna change it if someone wants me to then i'll go in there and i'll change it for you for like 35 30 whatever i don't know but it's not mine but i i just want it i don't like it when they they threatened her and said you better take this off your site anyway it's her site she's got some different types of fragrance excelsius that's a good one yep and Mercedes Benz the Move. Oh yeah, Benz the Move is fire. Look at that historical made at thirty eight bucks. That's a nice clone by Afnon. She's got some old gem, hidden gem there. The one Flavia dominant clone. I've never heard of that. Givenchy gentleman intense, and she's got just Jack too. And Terry De Santel. Wow, two fifty. Oh, there's Philip Pline. I actually got that here. Philip Pline, no limits. Let's go back to the live stream. Anybody watching? Has anyone ever tried no limits? Looks like a credit card, right? But it's called No Limits Fresh. I really like the other one. Philip Pline is like an obnoxious designer dude. But this isn't bad. It's totally cool. The bottle's not bad. It smells good. I like it. It's a blue fragrance with a twist. Kind of futuristic smell. Very it's plain Janie. This is um, just Jack Black Tuxedo. It's like, to me, it smells like peaches. Um, bitter peach. Has anyone ever seen Just Jack Black Tuxedo? This is what it looks like. And it, you would think, because it's called Tuxedo, that it's some kind of YSL Tuxedo clone. But actually, it's a fruity floral with some incense -y, Not incense -y, but fruity floral caramelly style fragrance that reminds me of a boozy, citrusy, sweet fragrance. And on the peach note, I've got this peach fragrance. I want to see. It's called Peaches and Honey. Now, this is the real one. It's by Flavia. This is like eight hours. This is the best deal I've ever seen. $30. Oh, man. This is that peach. This is that peachy booze note right here. You know, right when you smell it, you smell honey, which reminds you of cognac, right? And peaches is fire for real if you want to smell unique and get that one it's got a cool box it's wanna be tom ford looking thing <laughs> so we went over ysl coming up we got the new victory and victory elixir in a second i'm gonna show you i got a tester of it and gotta hydrate a second see who's talking to us today we've got A.K.A. Bane from the Philip Philippines. All right, red tobacco. Will he's comps for men? Richard, what's wrong with the volume? Oh, you can't hear me. Can you comment down below and let me know that you can hear me, everyone? Is it okay? John Clem, can you recommend me some Middle Eastern fragrances? I couldn't think of any last night. Hey, soup instructions. A little low on the audio. Okay, sorry about that. Um, this better? Is this better? Is this better? Nope. This is better. This is better. Testing, testing, testing. Now this mic, I'm going to have to get rid of it or talk into it. Is this much better, I suppose? <clears throat> Alice Lane, hey, what's up? Thank you so much. Michael LaRusso, Jimmy Chu, man's your scent of the day. Super Chat, $2 from Perez. Hi from Miami, scent of the day. Thank you so much, Dennis Perez. Is Dior Ohm 2020. 
There's my buddy Kel. <clears throat> Just seen your live. Here's Richard talking about a red tobacco hard pass from women, but your male friends will like it. Paul Robertson says women love red tobacco. Bruno Herrera says Al Harmain La Venture versus Silver Supremacy, which drops panties harder. Well, I'm going to show you. I think that this one does is right here. It's called Al Harmain Aventure Intense. Okay. This is the silver one. It's far better than the regular La Venture. And it's far better than Primacy Silver. Yeah, this is better than Silver Supremacy in my in my opinion. The next guy's talking. We got Yankee guy. Hello there. And Hez, I sent you an email. I never received it, Hez. I wish I did though. Thank you. Scent of the day, Versace Purom, gifted giver. Sounds good. Tokyo Bloom. That's your fragrance of the day, or you're asking a question. Next up, we're going to give away some commodity. If anyone likes Bergamot by Commodity, launched in 2017. The nose behind this is Steven Nielsen, which has got the Clementine Tangerine Orange in it, the Mandarin known, the Mint, the Violet, the Vetiver. It's like a $25 sample if somebody wants it. All you got to do is guess. The next fragrance that I'm about to pull out. That's by Armani. Like that's the hint. Whoever can guess that will win this right now. The next fragrance I'm about to pull out is by Armani. Which one is it? And you can win this. 212, scent of the day. Surgeon Richard, my, my voice sounding better now? Is everything cool? Oh, has anyone ever tried Mercedes Benz? John Clem agrees. He agrees that it's an upgrade on Love and Sure. Has anyone ever tried this? It's called Move by Mercedes Benz. Ultimate freshie for the summer. They have different ones. The Move, Express Yourself. This is the regular, the Move. It's a little bit sweeter. Armani Co Profundo. Let's see. Let's see. Huh. He nailed it, brother. Look at that. <laughs> Who's Conquistador? Are you in the USA? You just won yourself a commodity. So this is Conquistador. I mean, this is Armani Co Profundo. And there's a red bottle called RMF Lyric Red that smells like this kind of sort of. And Chrome Extreme smells like this much better. Has anyone ever tried Kenneth Cole Mankind? Does anyone like Mankind? Let me know. Stronger, not straight. Cal Torres. Michael LaRusso. Benz is great. Yes, you know what to do. Email me at this address at Gmail if you're in the USA. What's up, Miles Stewart? How you doing, nephew? This is Kenneth Cole Mankind. It's like $20. Not bad for the dub. $20, Kenneth Cole Mankind. I just bought it off Fragrance Net or something like that. Coming up. This is the best-selling item on my on my website that's a small mom and pop shop i thank you for all the support you've given us in the past this is called odyssey mandarin sky it's a highly complimented decent longevity clone of scandal by jean paul gaultier this is what everyone's talking about as if you knew i had it in my thing mancera's red tobacco and when you spray this instantly you're hit. You get hit with some power, you know. It'll burn your nose, but 
definitely for cold weather cinnamon and spices coming out at you projects hard longevity is insane and then this hunter jungle is something that i still can't figure out there's so brand new it's got like this lavender mandarin fruity notes and rosy spicy notes that's what it's got in it that's what the notes i put down on here that i could figure out and you spray it right here yeah i can smell lavender rosy spicy notes fruity notes it's a nice clean easy to wear refreshing fragrance it's called hunter but do you like it do you like the bullet on there hunter bullet killer not bad huh i like it i like it this is called ombre oud coming up terry d here we got some more comments here grab that one from your website great buy what did you grab my friend what did you grab we've got ombre oud by baldassarini is pretty pretty good you know, ombre oud. Sorry, I'm moving my my screens around. Sorry about that. This is this is not bad. It's like twenty three bucks. Trev, love it. I'll keep up the good work. It's a very nice oud fragrance that's so well blended. It reminds me of a Gucci Guilty style oud. So if you ever wanted to find this on Fragrance Net or something like that, it's so easy to wear. It's My nose has gone blind, but it's the ombre oud. Be careful because they make one called ombre. So this is, has the word oud in it. Everyone is doing a good day today. Thank you so much. Trev, love it on. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Is Terry D. Hermes good for masculine 26 year old men who want to attract cougars? Yep, actually. You got it right on the dot there, buddy. You wear that tonight. Go to your wherever you hang out at. <laughs> yep. And we've got Brian Allen from Texas. We got Super Chat, five dollars. Thank you, Kel Torres, for that. What scent would you recommend I buy from your site, Unc? What scent I would recommend you get? I would recommend you get this green one. If you don't have that, get the the Mandarin Sky. And actually, my favorite one today is this ombre oud intense black just because it's so well blended and this is the best deal but this is a little bit of a niche fragrance you might not like it if you're not used to mass appealing this is a very easy to wear niche fragrance but it's different like very unique its own scent it's not mass appealing this is what i would go for or one of these michael malal's that are 70 percent off but this is my favorite today. And if you don't already know, my friend launched this hypnotic oud. I'm just going to shout him out. It's my buddy, and I think it's a great, well-made fragrance. And I tested it, and it it has no pineapple note, but it's, it's powerful AF. It's like a Ventus without the pineapple and then turns into a smoky campfire a Ventus. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, edition one just came out. Uh, I'm not familiar with that, but it said it. They said it's old edition one. Has anyone ever had that by RMF? Old, but I thought it was brand new because I never heard of it. Edition one. Let's take a look and see what edition one is. Edition one. E D I T I O N. -E 
RMF Odyssey White is stronger with you. RMF Aoud Edition. RMF Club de Nuit. I can't even find this one. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is like Amber Crombie and Fitch Fierce. This isn't bad. It's 22 bucks. Edition 1. Uh, this is the Spirit Millionaire that I, the girl on the eBay site has. <laughs> yep. I hope you can hear me all right. Everyone's having a good day. This is Spirit. This is like a $20 fragrance, and they yelled at her because she was selling it for 40 You know what? Anybody want me to change the price on the eBay site and I'll make her sell it for 40 but she'll get in trouble So I, I just can't do that But you can message her and then send you the offer. That's what I'll do. That's how I'll get her on that a lot of Fragrances are trying to protect their brand. This is called Flavia the one I've never anyone ever smelled this Flavia the one eau de parfum. Thanks again Kel for the super chat I'd say no to Bruno. Miles Stewart RMF JPG clone. Oh, uh, I don't think I have one. But they're making one called Flavia Viking. It's not bad at all. Hey, Mark, you're late. We've got Ekran Kar Karakuk from Germany. No, I sure don't, sir. But hello to sunny Germany. There's my buddy Rob King. There's my buddy Campus Rock. Here's my buddy Saeed. Can you talk about the new RMAF private key line? Probably not. We're not allowed to talk about it anymore. We got in trouble. I was talking about it too soon. But, yeah, one in a couple weeks I'll bring it back. Is Ferragamo F black compliment getter, as Jeremy says? You know, it's not bad. It's like a... It's just like a light, spicy black fragrance that you can buy for $20 attached to a cool name. It's like a classic. You could probably get compliments with it. You could probably get compliments with this Jaguar, too. Classic Electric Sky. This thing, to me, smells good. It's like, it was like 20 I think, again, or 13 or something. I like blue fragrances. Do you? We've got another fragrance I wanted to show you. It's called Isimiyaki Wood Wood. It's a nice light wood classic hidden gem from 2015 or something. Isimiyaki Wood Wood. It's got grapefruit, elemi resins which is like pine needles and citrus green and clean and cardamom and apricot. It's got an interesting apricot. Ultimately, it smells like a sweet marine wooded fragrance that does give you compliments. And back in when it came out in 2019, it was like super hype. It's like the fragrance kind of like a fragrance called Obsessed. Not Obsession, but CK makes one called Obsessed. Okay. Isimiyaki makes some good fragrances, I'll tell you that. I'd get this. I don't have it, but I'm just showing I'm showing you. Just chilling today with my got my friends, you guys, and then tomorrow a little cool video will come out without my face. So maybe you'll watch it, maybe you won't. And now I'm gonna open up this. It's called Victory Elixir. And if anyone, let's do a giveaway again. So that guy won that. If anyone buys anything, I'm throwing in air in their box. If anyone buys anything in the next, let's say, 15 minutes, we'll do a $50 gift certificate to them. We'll pick one person if they buy. So right now, zero people have bought. If one person buys, he'll automatically win that $50 gift certificate. This is called Victory Elixir. I've never tried it, and I have Victory. So what is Oh, one is blue and one is clear. That's the only difference. The black is shinier on the elixir. So this is the elixir. And this is the regular victory, right? 
I love this regular victory. Let's see what we got here. We're going to try the regular victory, and then we'll try the elixir. And then I'm going to show you what I really wear like crazy, and I'll show you. Regular elixir fire. Smells really good. I just love it. Got that vanilla Invictus DNA type thing going, sweet and fresh. Now elixir. I've gone nose blind. It's it's about the same. Oh, I see. It's the same thing almost, just a little bit richer. It probably is better, but I don't see any noticeable difference. Does anyone know? I just opened it first time right now. I like the baby cat better, but actually, and if you can find this at your local Macy's, don't tell them I told you, but this is this is a this is the SHI right here. This stuff is on fire. I sprayed it like 15 times the other day. Like, look at that. I sprayed it so much the sprayer doesn't work. And, well, 15 times it lasted two days. Yep, I, I sprayed it so much I broke the sprayer. But it's good. It's called Jean-Paul Gaultier Elixir. Okay, let's see who we got on the chat. Good afternoon. And hello from Puerto Rico. Hola, Richard. Where's the blockade clone? Block A. What is blockade? F black smells cheap. Clone of Burberry Hero. You can buy Burberry Hero for 40? No. Burberry Hero. No, no, no. There is no clone yet. Not that I know of. I was thinking of Mr. Burberry. What's the best green Irish tweed clone? One of the cheapest best one is called RMF. Trainui, but then there's another one by Rasasi. It's called Agra, Igra, or something like that. Ashkan, your favorite, your most favorite to date. Bruno, Blue Chanel versus Terry. Which one is better to spend money on? In my opinion, I'd go with Blue to Chanel all day long because I love blue and fresh fragrances. You know, but another person who likes citrusy, spicy, upscale fragrances might like that better. But Chanel, Chanel has always been in front of Hermes from the date of time. They've been trying to catch them, you know, with their purses. Their, you know, that They made the H belt and it got them some notoriety in 2008. And the Terry D. Hermes got them some notoriety finally. But they can't keep up with like the women Chanel, and they've got Chanel is just like a government of fragrances. <laughs> Sent to the Dame Mind Games Blockade. What is this Mind Games Blockade? Can you help me out, Mike, and tell me? Can you recommend perfume with Weave Saint Laurent EDP? Why? Yeah, try Decadent Noir or Mandarin. No, no, it's called Odyssey Mega Yellow. It's a yellow bottle. Trey Nui, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Thanks, Rob King. Mike Stewart, JPG Elixir is my release of the year. Yeah, mine too. That and One Million Royal. I'm about to find out about that new JPG. Yeah. Yeah, it's next level. But you got to spray it, man. Don't be scared. It's going to cost you. Now I've got, now I've got Chanel Platinum Egoista mixed with jpg elixir and it's not a good combination it's like fighting my senses richard blockade is a 350 dollar fragrances by mind games it's supposed to be fire oh, really hmm where did you hear this richard lokman imida what's the clone of burberry hero i don't know let's see blockade whoa let's take a look here but, uh Blockade. Let me see something. Oh, Carner Barcelona. Sixty seven forty for one point seven.
Blockade Cologne. Oh, that's got to be fake for... Oh, that's one of those samplers. Hmm. Smooth, calculated blockade. Make it a fragrance. Shifting your mindset. Mind games. Three hundred and fifty bucks for that stuff. And you want a two milliliter? It's ten dollars for like a free vial. That's pretty good. I'm sure they'll be cloning that up pretty soon, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Back to this. Connor Barcelona. Corner, $75. Let's lower that price for you. I don't care what they say. There it is. Edit. $59. 3.4 ounce. Boom. That's how we sell it. Get it, get it gone. Sorry, fellas. I had to... Do a little work on the side there. So, next question comes from... Yeah, Mark, I got your email about that. Um, have you tried any 1821? They came out with Noble Oud. I got your email about that. I think you sent me an email there on Amazon and stuff like that. So, I reached out to them might buy some yep noble oud check this out i think i just had one called noble oud oh al nobel amir by latafa oh there's a noble oud right there look noble oud with tobacco vanille fragrance 25 dollars next question we got And Bruno Herrera, Chanel Platinum Egoista Cougar Chokehold Catnip, yes or no? One of those things you wouldn't, I don't know, just, it's kind of a, it's not like, it's different. You have to be wearing, you have to be dressed up to, to where you wear that fragrance and you dress the part and you act the part and it'll work. You know what I mean? But yeah, hot weather, it works really good. Hey, Rob King, I have trained knee, but doesn't last. That's why I tried that Rasasi Egra. And we already talked to you. Mine is a niche fragrance. So you're wearing that today? Which, a niche fragrance, which fruity scent. It smells like mango skin. You like it? Durango? BBP and Jen Sense and the famous old dude that says fragrances at the airport. <laughs> Do you still wear Ferragamo free time in the hot weather? Ever since you should, it's a, showed it. It's a favorite of mine. Yeah, sometimes I break out those old ones, you know. It's nice. Hey, Unc, loving that Cuban tobacco. Hey, Brad, what's up? Have to try Nasheet. Have to try Nasheet. Now sheet. Now sheet. What are you guys looking under my table? You know exactly what I got here. <laughs> this is not sheet. Not sheet. Let's see what we got here. Oh, brother. I don't like it, but it's, I mean, 
non-biased it's a good fragrance my opinion i don't like it but non-biased i would get it because it's like a freshy it's kind of like a lemony vanilla but to me I, I just smell right off the bat right off the get i smell the chemicals coming out of it and that's what just turns me off so that means you have to wait and who knows what kind of chemicals they're using they're pushing out fragrances so fast but that's my opinion. But uh, like I said, what does non-bias mean? It means that it's not a bad fragrance because it was like, what, $25? I mean, that's just fantastic. So if someone's new to fragrances, that's a perfectly good fragrance. I wouldn't say it's a clone to Ani, but it, I mean, because Ani is its own thing. But yeah, I could see someone, you could go in that direction for sure. Like 85% if you want to put a percentage on it. Call me G. Some have said blockade and it has Aventus vibes. Well, ask Mark, ask Mr. Durango, what is a fragrance maceration? It's like when you open up a bottle of wine and you let it sit and you decant it and you open it up and you put it in a big decanter. If you have expensive wine, it macerates, it opens up, it envelops. In the fragrances, the same thing happens. They're making them so fast. Like this one I got in April, and it took me six weeks. I left it with the cap off. I forgot I had it, so it's not like I intentionally macerated it. So then I revisited it, and it was like on fleek, on fire, and I just think it, it was fantastic. Perfect example of maceration. When the Supremacy Not Only Intense came out, they were that was like one that needed to macerate. We got it in June and sold out of it in July. And then we got it back and people were talking about how strong it was. And they waited five days and they just let it open. You just kind of take it out of the box, shake it up, let it open, store it in a cool place, forget about it, and then revisit it. Two weeks later, lots of fragrances. And I bet you this Victory Elixir is one too because it's so new. Great question, my friend. John Clem with a good question. Noble Oud is fire. That's the one by Reefs. Good. Thank you, Richard. Do you like RMAF Odyssey Mega? You only had a 200 milliliter stock. I snagged it. That's a big bottle. You got it? Cool. Thanks. Let's see. Let's see. What we got here, Miles Stewart. Oh, Robert, thank you so much. Oh, Miles, thank you so much. Yeah, you did good on that. You did really good, trust me. Because that's a 200 milliliter. You can spray away. It's non-offensive. Non-offensive. And good stuff, RK, good stuff. We're going to have a contest now. We got two people in the contest. Thank you so much. But yeah, Mike, uh, Miles, it's great. Thank you, Bearden. Thank you very much. Hey, Ishmael, my friend. I like this guy. Layered Aqua Essenziala Blue with Missoni Wave. That's pretty deep because those are both chanel blue fragrances felix hernandez fragrance maceration is what's happened to uncle chris when he forgot where the club and Nuit bottle top is <laughs> how do you remember that do you play guitar i love it okay so he loves that 350 dollar blockade fragrance now i got my eyes on that radar blockade by mind games so when did it come out recently ani cole Clone of Ani. Yeah, you have it. You have that Nasheed. I understand, but the Creed GIT just lasts about four to five hours. I just reapply. Yeah, those Creed guys. Rave by Sapil versus Ajmal Kuro, please. Rave by Sapil versus Kuro. Ajmal's Kuro is like uh, around here. It's like $13 or $20. It's not, I would, I can remember it vaguely, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. People loved it when I talked about it because of the price value. Ajmal came out. I've never heard of Rave by Sapil. 
I might have to pick up Acro Bake. I just discovered it. What is Acro Bake? Man, you guys are t putting me on. I love this. I love talking to you guys. Thank you so much. No, it doesn't have an Aventus vibe at all. Mike says it doesn't. Mike, you have a Harley by chance? <laughs> I didn't get much of why it's a YEDP intense. I put it away, spray it again. Lasts longer and stronger. There you go. Maceration talk. Sanjay Kui is Reflection Man good? Yes. 100% is very good. I'm a wash Reflection Man. Any good soapy fresh fragrances cheap? Yes. Boa cute. It's like $22. It's kind of a soapy fresh fragrance. Call me G at Mike Durango. Three fifty though, man. Come on. Eighteen twenty one man made smells great. I love shower gel. Oh, check this out. I don't if you're ever on Amazon, sometimes I talk about stuff like this gel. This is called Baxter. I mean it's called Baxter Styling Paste of California. And you might see my video on it. I don't know if I made a video. But it's the best smelling like hair. Uh, paste if you use paste for your hair it's got this caramelly incense -y. like they should make a fragrance out of this stuff here yep or they should make a but see it's like a it's for your hair you know it has nothing to do with body scrub or face or anything but they do make facial products and everything they make smells like kind of like aqua di parma terry de hermes Luis, hey, do you have a shop account? I don't even know what that means, sir. Aunt. Durango. Aunt's not here right now. <laughs> Mark Bryson. Aunt just called me and I missed her call. Yes, I do. What gave you that idea? <laughs> I'm good. Pretty good at figuring things out. Reading people, you know. How smoky is hypnotic amber birches and does it have resins, incense, or something similar to that nature? Hypnotic amber. What happens is after an hour, it'll turn smoky. Okay. Smoky. Like a campfire of wood. Resinous? Not so much. Incensey? This is fully macerated. It's lovely. It's so strong, but still so smooth. There's no chemical like in certain fragrance brands. That's what I love about it. It's really a company that I think is going to do really good because I know something about this company. Not only does my friend own the company or works with the company, Ari Briette. They used to make fragrances called My Perfumes. There's like a store, even Jeremy went to their store and the the I don't know if I should be telling you this, but the My Perfume is like Terry De Santel is $250 American money fragrances. So this for $60 in my brain is telling me they just made a $60 line of fragrances, but it's the same quality as the $250. Pretty, I mean, I don't see any differences. This smells good. Fruits. And the smokiness comes later, and the longevity is outstanding, and it's called Hypnotic Amber. And they make Hypnotic Oud, which is like, I like it even better, but it's more mature. Hypnotic Oud is like by the fireplace. And if you spray this on these papers, it'll be on these papers for a month. At least the Hypnotic Oud was, and this one for sure for three days, and then I threw the paper away. Has anyone ever heard of this? catch and shine i just got just a whole i just wanted to show you you know in videos i can't show you these unknown fragrances because it just i just got this one catch and shine oh yeah i like that i don't know who makes it fighting the waves it's like a surfer cologne it was very very cheap i have no idea where i got it i can't remember i think some kind of clearance sale somewhere this is R2B2. It's a gray box. I just got that. Let's see what that is. R2B2 Interstellar Intergalactic by Beastie Boys. Okay, you got that. 
the sprayer comes out in a perfect 360 degree circle and shoots out in perfect alignment. It's crazy. This is kind of like a phantom or something. I can't really get my nose on it, but it's, it smells good. I have to put that up there on the website soon. See what's up with that. Anybody ever tried this? I, I haven't even tried it yet. It's called Le Parfait. Please let me know. All right. We got uh, 55 minutes going by. We got, I think he meant the website, not the shop. When will you be adding Amazon Pay? Asking for a friend. Have you tried Mahir Legacy? It came out in 2022. I'm going backwards. So we just answered Ishmael's question. And Mike said it came out in 2022. Blockade, the $350 fragrance. Sandra Cluia says, have you tried Mahir Legacy? Yeah, that is a good one. It's nice, freshy. Okay, and then we got... Matt Highcraft, best deal to buy right now on the website and you 100% back. Best deal to buy now on your website and you 100% back. Get the corner of Barcelona. Sandra Cluey, how la tapa confidential? That one I haven't tried. Platinum, the confidential platinum. Hayati is like, that one's real fun to wear. It's an easy to wear fragrance. I've never heard of that fragrance either. I was on Social Sense Live last week. I asked him what fragrance smells like a delicious dessert. And he told me he wanted to try that one around 180. Are you talking about this blockade too? Or are you talking about something else? Any light oud fragrances like a sweet light oud? Yeah. You know Mercedes Benz makes a sweet light oud fragrance? Unk's back. <laughs> This is the uh, the Le Parfum by Mercedes Benz. This has got a nice light oud wood note to it. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's very good. It's it's so nice. It's almost like oud wood. Uh, almost. Does anyone ever tried this? It's called Mercedes Benz Le Parfum. It's a brown bottle. And then you got Mercedes Men's Bright, which is not bad. What is this? Oh, look at that. Mercedes Men's Bright. This is, to me, this smells like a, they were trying to get Blue to Chanel. 100%. They're trying to do Blue to Chanel with this one. It's called Bright. And you got the, the move we just talked about. This one's called Live the Moment. And there's another one called Express Yourself. And this is a great deal here. It's called Mercedes Benz Energetic Aromatic. It's like an upscale Nautica Voyage. Lovely, too. It's like limited edition. My nose is shot, but I wish I could smell this. I can smell it. And we got Bright. And we got VIP Club. Mercedes Benz, baby. Yeah. Next up, question. Any light oud fragrances? Heard B2B2 is fantastic. Now there's a red one that's also out there. Looks like a little red robot. Have you heard of La Tapa scent called Alpine Ohm Sport? Nope, but guess what? It sounds like a Chanel dupe, right? So, Aventus with a twist and how the scent trailer and how much it projects off the skin. Ishmael, I wore it in a hot, hot room, one spray. And so, you get a three-foot bubble off of it. And it lasts all day and it projects and it changes and it evolves into a smoky Aventus. And 
to me, they described Aventus Absolute not having that pineapple note. Maybe this is Aventus Absolute, and it's just ahead of its game. But we'll soon find out. We're getting good, good reaction with that. It's a nice fragrance. The closest thing to a cheap version of Mind Game clone could be Zara's Vibrant Leather or Orion. But Mind Game, you're talking about the the Mind Game Blockade because that Orion by Tiziana Terenzi is like an Aventus clone, isn't it? Orion by Tiziana Terenzi. Yeah. Alpine Chanel Dupe by Alhambra. Nice. What is your favorite Louis Vuitton dupe? Leather, pure leather gold for the Ombre Nomad. And then the one by Zara for the blue one. It's called Something Under the Sand or something like that. Call me G. Le Parfait is like Green Irish Tweed to me. Poor performance. Oh, Le Parfait is Green Irish Tweed. Let's see. Oh yeah, smells good though. One of these days I'm going to get the balls to spray this fragrance. This is heavy duty stuff. Durango, I want to get you into this thing here soon. Look at that thing. Just out of the bottle. There's, there's a no comparison between a clone and a bad fruit. <laughs> I gotta stop talking. What up, Uncle Chris? Hey, John Clem. Does Hawass macerate? Yeah, I mean, I've had mine for two years. I was talking about Acrobic. Oh, Acrobic. Okay. Chris, you should try Mango Thai Lime from Joe Lowe. Joe Loves. Who's Joe Loves? Mango Thai Lime. That sounds like a delicious dish I want to have for salad. Okay, surgeon. I'll get it for you. What up, Unc? Doing a 5K. Oh, really? 5K is three miles, right? How was your time? You probably feel really good now. Now you can eat. I used to do those for fun. Best Buy in the $50 or less range yeah um right now michael malal if you use the code malal 70 on this website right here is the best buy because it becomes 140 minus like 98 dollars so it's like 42 dollars for a fragrance that costs 140 and i i'd, I'd urge you to get it because they're gonna sell out i will urge you because i can't get any more and it's just the old bottle of Mr. Gent's Scents Fragrance. So we bought a few and were able to sell it cheaper. That's all it is. Don't get upset, Michael. Gary Man in Black is very similar to Spice Bomb Extreme. Thanks for the Michael Jordan fragrance you sent me. I just haven't tried it yet. I have supremacy not only in tents. Will it be redundant? Well, it's completely different fragrance. And if you have supremacy not only in tents, it might it's different fragrance it's a different experience but it's the same dna essentially so it could be redundant could you make a video on maceration that's a great idea that's an excellent idea <laughs> come on man you should have a comedy act uh michael malal is this yeah, look at this. M I C H A E L M A L U L. And then when you check out, use code. Okay, there it is. And the thing, the one you want to get is called Enigma. Michael Malal Enigma or Michael Malal Platinum. Those are the two best ones. And then if you want, actually, Visionaire. It's kind of like a Creed Green Irish Tweed kind of sort of type thing, kind of like Aqua Di Gio. It's very mass appealing by Michael Malal. And they're all, whatever is left is all that's going to be left in the Jensen's one. 
is all, all sold out. I mean, there's probably a few left on the website, but I would, hey, Choco Musk, come on, man. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. That's like a, that's a really, to me, I don't like it. No, no offense. I know what you're talking about. It is not bad at all, but it's just so, something about it bothers me. I've had it and I even broke a bottle once. Well, let's see what we're going to give away today now. We got, we've got a few people, and then we've got, oh, okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and give away a $50 gift certificate. There's only four people that are in the contest right now, and those four people know who they are, L, T, C, L, R, K, and M, S. I'll give you a few more minutes if you want to try to get something in. And then one of those four will win 50. That's fine with me. Okay. Okay, let me get back to the screen here, guys. Okay. Did you find anything about those new Afnon perfumes you unboxed? What they're doing? What Afnon? Oh, you're talking about... He's talking about RMF fragrances. So there's a new key. They're called Club de Nuit Private Line. Like Tom Ford has their private line. So, yeah, the, the black one's similar to Layton, but it's redundant to buy it because the blue exclusive is stronger than it. But it's very, very high quality and natural smelling. I can say that. The blue one, I forgot, it's like a citrusy fresh fragrance. And the gray one, it seems like it was, it was called Success. It was like the fragrance Pegasus. Yeah, very nice, high quality, smooth Pegasus. So far, I mean, but I'm not really at liberty to discuss. I got a big slap on my wrist when I put those out last week. So we're going to ask the question again, What what's your favorite fragrance? We got people commenting that the new Mind Games is good, and Mind Games smells like mandarin orange, and that's fair to say. And we're going to go ahead and add the winner, this guy named with the initials LT. You just won yourself a $50 gift so you can buy a one gift for 40 with taxes and shipping you can use the gift card that I'm going to add to your account after this live stream thank you so much for your participation and before I close out one last fragrance I'm going to show you and it is Does anyone wear this fragrance? Moschino Toy Boy? Anyway, I had fun today. Thank you so much for watching the video. Any Burberry Hero clone? No. Hey, there's my buddy, Randall Real Estate. Just in time. Can you, can you send us a super chat, Randall? Show us how it's done. He's so generous. <laughs> but yeah. We've had a, we've been on it for an hour. We talked about a lot of different fragrances, and we had fun today. Thanks, nice to meet everyone, and hope you have a great Saturday. And I'll see you soon.